Hi, everyone. Jasmine here, aka Zolly Dolly. And uh, today I'm going to give you a little uh, bit of an update on what's been happening at Rejuve. So uh, for those of you who never heard of Rejuve, you might have just uh, joined into the Singularity Net community or just, you know, haven't been <clears throat> fully aware of what's been going on. Um, Rejuve was actually part of uh, what came about via something um, that happened a few years ago called the Singularity Net X Lab Accelerator. And this uh, accelerator also birthed uh, projects such as Nuna and Autonia. So very successful venture there. So Rejuve is actually centered around uh, longevity, uh, life and health span extension. So the goal is to create a network of longevity enthusiasts, uh, clinics, labs, scientists, researchers, um, all working together to achieve breakthroughs in longevity science. And, you know, all uh, via a decentralized platform, of course, using AI blockchain. So that's the, you know, the theme here. <laughs> and so the main method of the value exchange between all of these entities is, of course, uh, the Rejuve token. And we'll um, talk about the token in a bit and uh, how it's different from AGIX. And it's not... Um, you know, because with all the spinoffs, it can be a bit confusing sometimes. Why do we have so many tokens and um, why can't we just use the end all be all one, which is, you know, questions that I myself even had at first. But as you get deeper into this, you realize that, you know, it all can't be encompassed under one because these are very uh, separate endeavors. So health data is very valuable and there are already entities that are profiting off of your data your data is already being sold, and I mean actual medical records, your data is already being used, you know, without your consent, without your permission, and uh, companies are profiting off of this data. So part of the mission of Rejuve is that we want to give you ownership over your own data, and not only that, but have a share in uh, any of the future benefits of any discoveries that were made possible in part by your contributions. So that's a big part of what we're doing at Rejuve. So in order to make this possible, our primary method is our upcoming longevity app. So this app is going to be, um, you can look at it as kind of like a build upon experience. So um, the, at, at the base level, you know, of course you're just answering uh, survey questions about you know, your health and uh, lifestyle, things like that. And <clears throat> it's based on the model of biological age. So biological age is a measure of uh, basically of the age of your body in comparison to your actual chronological age. So you know how it's like, okay, you can be, let's say you're 52, but your biological age, you know, depending on how you take care of yourself, what you've been doing, everything can actually be more like 44 or it can be more like 65. So, and this calculation um, can be done as loosely and vaguely as, you know, they have basically five minute surveys that you can take on the internet now. Calculate your biological age and it's of course a lead into a product, but um, you know, you can be as, as uh, vague and um, inaccurate as that, or it can actually get very much more accurate. And um, so that's coming back to the build upon approach of this app. So at the first stage, you know, you can answer survey questions in exchange for tokens. And, you know, um, in addition to that, you can connect um, health tracker wearable devices, such as this one. Uh, Apple Watch and Fitbit are the two that we're going to be beginning with on our MVP. So you can connect these devices, which uh, give your profile more accuracy. Um, there's already been studies about how, you know, you can use the data collected from these um, smartwatches, health trackers, in order to make predictions about your health. So you can add that as your next layer. And, you know, the more detail and data that you provide, the more token rewards you get. And, you know, like I said, I get some tokenomics in just a second about how, you know, this kind of creates a positive feedback loop here. <clears throat> so the, our, uh, the model that we're using to, you know, well, of course we're using Singularity Net AI to analyze the data and to make the calculations, which give you personalized insights and recommendations on how you yourself can improve your biological age and what factors are most uh, driving the calculation that we've arrived at. And of course, this calculation gets more and more accurate, more focused, and more individualized the more data that you do provide. So 
Um, we model it off of something called the hallmarks of aging. And if you've never heard of that, we'll be getting into it in a future blog. Um, it's a very uh, centerpiece paper that was written in the, in the field of longevity science in I believe 2013. And these are uh, basically nine, you know, plus one hallmarks of aging that uh, factors that determine, you know, how your biological aging progresses and, and the things that influence it. <clears throat> so, you know, of course, it's very important to offer very honest uh, responses to these questions and not to just skip past them. I mean, you know, this is ultimately because a complete medical record, a complete um, health record of any kind, you know, especially when you start attaching DNA and blood test results, which is uh, something that is going to be part of our app experience. Um, you know, so as, as you earn tokens with Rejuve, you can use these to um, get these test kits at a discount. Um, so you can use, let's say you earn some Rejuve tokens from completing your whole entire survey profile. You can then use these to buy a DNA kit that you can then submit those results and receive more tokens. And you can put those forth for other tests, you know, depending if we have a clinical trial running or something of that nature, you can put those forward to get even more rewards and it just continues to compile and compile. And you're just constantly having this cycle of um, your profile getting built up more, becoming more valuable as an entity for research and for clinical trials and studies. And you're also more ingraining yourself into this reward scheme and into this um, uh, supply chain. <clears throat> so the Rejuve token itself, you know, as I said, it will be something that, you know, you get as a reward for completing in-app tasks. And the more complex and like basically the more difficult it is to obtain the data or to complete the task, the more uh, higher reward you will get. So like I said, the baseline is completing surveys, hooking up your wearable device. Um, you know, then your next level is, you know, you're submitting more advanced uh, data sets such as, uh, you know, they have the little DNA spit kits and whatnot. Even they have, you know, blood testing things where it's like a prick and you, um, it can ascertain different uh, values that are uh, assessing your biological age in a more deeper way. Because of course you can answer questions on a survey and you know calculate how much exercise you've been having and you can give a subjective answer about your diet and you know whether or not you smoke and this that and a third. But you know these measures that these actual uh, blood and DNA tests can ascertain are a much deeper and more accurate measure of your actual uh, biological condition in in, re in relation to longevity. And the more comprehensive and real this data is, by the way, we will be having. Um, some of our AI be able to run algorithms to um, check what, uh, how, how likely and how accurate the data is that you're inputting to uh, curb fake profiles and whatnot. And we also have other um, ways of doing that that will come out in the future. Not gonna get too, too into that today, but um, yeah. So, you know, as you build up your profile, it becomes more valuable. And we will also, you know, be running actual uh, studies through uh, Rejuve Tech, which is our for-profit arm. And so we actually will be actually conducting real research via Rejuve. We will probably eventually be working with outside entities as well, but we actually will be doing real live research. And so it's very important that we have accurate, complete data. So the token will also have um, governance and reputation functions. Uh, some of the examples on what you might, you know, be able to vote for would be, um, say, we might be able to uh, have the community propose a something that they want to research, you know, a, a suggested clinical trial or something like. Maybe there's somebody out there that's really intelligent and, and into this field, and they've always wanted to know. Like, let's say they wanted to study the real effects of a certain supplement, because if you seen, you know, back in my intro video, I talked about how natural medicine can a lot of times be ignored by the mainstream, you know, depending on what country you're in. And so maybe we want to know about this particular supplement. We want to actually measure the real effects of what it can do. So we can propose ideas like that and uh, vote on them. We can vote on uh, what type of um, entities to work with, which type of pharmaceutical companies or labs or universities uh, distributors to work with. 
and also any kind of uh, token economy matters, anything to do with the actual, uh, the economy that we're creating with the Rejuve token, that, those can also be subjects for votes. And also uh, with reputation wise, it's you know gonna be how successful you know, a product has become or how successful, you know, or, or how, how likely this is that, you know, this data is really true and how, how good this algorithm was at processing this data. There's a lot of different things that can come in line there. And, um, and, this, and also part of the, with the tokenomics plan, a key feature that we are working on right now in real time is uh, a method that will be able to basically track your data's history all along the chain of supply. So in the case that some new drug or breakthrough therapy is developed and it was using your data, your entire basically uh, contribution will be able to be tracked all throughout that supply from the first time you entered into that app, you know, from this lab that took it and this one that used it all the way down to the actual product. And to actually be able to make that a cycle of pretty much lifetime rewards. Uh, the rewards, of course, being in the form of the Rejuve tokens, which, which can be used for discounts on um, supplements, uh, test kits, uh, the service, the the um, the products that develop themselves, uh, the therapies, longevity uh, spas that are offering certain services, use them for discounts on that. So there'll be uh, increasingly amount of products that you can use these tokens in redemption for, and then of course to be able to vote on key issues in the ecosystem. So it's a very exciting and ambitious project, and we are moving along at a good pace. And so we are anticipating for the release of the MVP and the token launch in the fourth quarter of this year. And as I said, we'll be having uh, a lot more blogs and informational pieces and, and things as we get closer to that time that will give you a lot more information. You know, this is just meant to be kind of a brief uh, update and also an introduction to those of those who uh, may not have even heard of Rejuve before. But yeah, I'm very excited to be a part of this project and Yep, we have a lot to look forward to um, at Rejuve and at just Singularity Net ecosystem as a whole.